We'll take in psychology, chapter 17, section 2. I think you took the introduction of it with Ms. Hadil, but I'd uh, like to just refresh it up with you. I'll share with for you the presentation. This, the, the chapter, girls, are you sure you hear me well? Yes, yes. Yes, it's very clear. Okay. Here is it. The chapter, the, can you see the PowerPoint now? Yes. Psychoanalysis and humanistic therapy. Psychoanalysis and humanistic therapy. Okay. What is psychoanalysis and what is humanistic therapy? Uh, let's see, we, we discussed psychoanalysis before. Humanistic therapy, how they treat human. So, they say that they started the section with a dream. A woman says that she dreamed that she was a child again. She was riding her bicycle along the village street, but its wheels, the bicycle wheels, began to sink into sticky muddy earth so that she couldn't move, she could barely move. Finally, the earth began to dry and she found herself able to cycle along quite easily once more. When they, analyze, when they analyzed her dream, they analyzed dream, the, those who are specialists in analyzing dreams, psychoanalysts, they say that the dream was experienced by an elderly woman. She is fighting a serious illness. Psychoanalysts might interpret the dream in the following manners. How? The earth, the muddy earth, symbolized her illness, as well as the woman's concerns that she might die. When she was a child, she had never been allowed to own a bicycle. So having one represented freedom. When she had a bicycle in her dream, it represented her freedom. The bike symbolized something she badly wanted, she really wanted. What does she want? When she was a child, she really wanted a bike. When she grew up in her dream, she really wanted good health. Psychoanalysts will use this information, this dream interpretation, to help the woman understand the psychological dilemma she faces. So they took her dream, and they analyze it to get out her psychological dilemmas, her psychological problems. So what is psychoanalysis? Psychoanalysis is a therapy, a way of treating people, healing people. Therapy aimed at making patients aware of their unconscious motives so that they can gain control over their behavior again. What is psychoanalysis? Psychoanalysis is a therapy aimed at making patients aware of their unconscious motives, hidden motives, they are not aware of these motives, so they can gain more control over their behavior. Do you hear me well, girls? Yes, ma'am. Psychoanalysis is a therapy to make people or patients aware of their unconscious motives, so they can gain control over their behavior. Psychoanalysis is based based on the theories of Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud, as we can say, is the father of psychology. Sigmund Freud 
is the father of psychology. According to Freud, okay, psychological disturbances, disturbances are due to anxiety caused by heading conflicts among the unconscious components of one's personality. What does it mean? Sigmund Freud established a theory. A theory is the one who said, because now girls, we talk after we, after hundreds of researches and hundreds of talkings, but when it was first published at the beginning, it was like uh, America, a man who says that there is a conscious mind and subconscious inside, which is unconscious component. Unconscious, it means that you are not aware of it. You are not aware. Maybe it comes sometimes when you are so worried about a test, but you do not feel that you are worried. You, what happens to you? You dream it, you dream of it. Did it happen with you guys that sometimes you dream of some you dream of something you've worried about for a long time? That happened. So Sigmund Freud said that psychological disturbances are due to an anxiety. Psychological disturbances are due to an anxiety. From where this anxiety comes? From where an anxiety comes? An anxiety comes from heading conflict. Heading conflict. Do I feel this heading conflicts? No. Because they happen in your unconscious components. This is segment for workers. As we can say, as we say, he is the father of psychology. He says that we have conscious mind, conscious here, and unconscious there. The unconscious is I, I would super go and anxiety intra conflict between I would and super go and all of that, all of these elements fight together. The I would, I will tell you now what I would say. I would super go intersect conflict creates an anxiety. All of that happen inside of you without you feel it. What do you feel? You feel this, the defense mechanism. Defense mechanism, you feel this, the ego. Here, so you act without knowing the reason. You act, a specific act, without knowing the reason. Because the reason happened in the unconscious. Unconscious. Unaware. So, Freud's theory of personality. The I would says, I, I D says, I want to kill. Okay. I want to hurt. I want to take revenge. The super go, it's also inside the unconscious, says no way, no way, Joe, no. It talks to the I D. So the ego, ego is in the conscious. Ego is in the conscious, like here. Girls, it was not written in your book, but I prefer that you understand it well. Are you with me? Yes. The, again, the I would say, I want to take revenge. The super girl says, no, 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 no. Forget it. The ego says, I know, let's play football. So in this way, some people safely gratify their hostile and aggressive at desire. How? When the ego acts peacefully, but there is a fight between the super ego and ID inside of the unconscious mind. 
when the when there is an idea and the super go tries to stop it it creates an anxiety out of what out of the fight between in here the anxiety is out of the fight here it gives so then the ego acts in a specific way this is you are not asked you know what i just prefer that you understand it. who this is segment freud he established the theory of personality this is how people behave how people behave then he says that one job of psychoanalysts psychoanalysts is to help make the patient aware of his unconscious impulses a patient who has an anxiety severe anxiety and he doesn't know why as a, a, a patient who suffers from depression and he doesn't know why a patient who has any disorder he doesn't know why he says that it's all happening because of the fight in the unconscious components so the second Paul, he, used, he was left alone for long periods of time. So he, why he fears Dar? Because he was he was uh, left alone when he was young. He doesn't know that this is the reason. So psychoanalysts' mission is to make him aware of his fears, of desires, of impulses. Psychoanalysts believe that if patients can understand their unconscious motives, they have taken the first step toward gaining control over their behavior and freeing themselves of their problems. So they would have insight inside of themselves, like, like when you look at yourself like this. So you see your inside, inside the view. The apparent sudden realization of the solution to the problem. So when you see inside of you, you can understand why you behave like that. Okay? Not only patients, girls. Not only patients who suffer from depression or suffer from an anxiety or uh, disorders, the normal person, any, any one of us, has subconscious, has unconscious mind and conscious mind. Conscious is how he acts, like now I, uh, I am aware, I am alert that I am giving you the lesson. You are alert that you are taking a lesson. It's psychology, we talk, discuss about this is your conscious. This is what you see now. When when the mic was not working, you told me, teacher, we can't hear you. You are aware that you cannot hear me. But you are, are you aware of your fears? Are you aware of your desires? I am afraid I will fail the test. I will fail the test. Why, why you, you are sure that you are going to fail at this? Why? It's your unconscious fear. There is some, something inside of you says that you will fail. You have to understand your unconscious in order to... to behave from your desire or understand your desires, accept your feelings. Insight is apparent sudden realization when a person realizes that the solution of the problem he faces. Okay? Okay. 
Okay, great one. Okay, okay. So they say that this task begins with the analysts telling the patient to relax and talk about everything comes up to their mind. Why? Because when you talk blindly, when you talk blindly, the unconscious will work. Will work and it will talk on behalf of you. It's called the free association. The patient may consider some passing thoughts too unimportant or too embarrassing to mention, but the analyst suggests that everything should be expressed, everything should be said. Any small detail, any small design, even if it's too embarrassing, it should be told to the cycle analyst. So free association is a method used to examine the unconscious when you sleep like this on the chair, the chair of the psychoanalyst and you just talk, talk, the flow of talking will, 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 will bring the unconscious out of you. The patient is instructed to say whatever comes out into their minds, his or her mind. As the patient lies on the couch, he or she may describe dreams, private thoughts, Forgotten experiences, well, when I was three years old, I was left in the dark for a long time. The psychoanalyst often says nothing for long periods of time. He just gathers information and he analyzes them, analyzes them. Psychoanalyst also occasionally makes remarks or asks questions that guides the patient. So when he talks about, uh, I was left alone, so he starts to say, ask him, what did you feel exactly when you was alone? Was it fear? Was it waiting, waiting for parents? But he says all the. But most of the work is done by the patient. It's called. Free as you talk, you talk, you say everything you The association helps the patient to reveal painful feelings, to examine lifelong patterns that need to be changed. And as the analysis, analysis proceeds, is likely to try unconsciously to hold back the flow of information. When you get out all of your unconscious, you are aware of your unconscious, you are aware of your unconscious components fights when they fight together, so you can gain control. Okay? You can gain control. But what happens when you try unconsciously, when you inside of yourself can't get the information, you just can't talk, which is called the resistance. Resistance is the reluctance of a patient either to reveal painful feelings or to examine long-standing behavior patterns. So a patient, while he is laying down in his chair, he can't get or reveal the painful feelings inside, okay? Or examine long-standing behavior patterns. This is called resistance. He doesn't cooperate unconsciously, not aware of his uh, uh, cooperating. He is not aware of it. Unconsciously, he holds back the flow information. He holds back the flow information. So the psychoanalyst can, can get everything out of him. The patient may have agreed to cooperate fully, yet at some times his or her mind is blank, blank. And he or she feels powerless and 
And he's trying to point out what is happening and wait for the patient to continue. This is how the free association works, guys. Okay. The, it says the analyst may also suggest another line of approach. If he finds talking about being left alone as a child is a blocked road, and he, they cannot move on, he starts to, to talk about maybe he was severely punished when he forgets to answer his or do his homework. Maybe he was punished to be left alone at class after everyone leaves or be or sit alone in the time of break. So this is a, a approach another way or another area. OK, so maybe it opens the first. Unconscious. Part. By analyzing the patient's resistance. The therapist and the patient can understand the sources of anxieties. Why he is afraid? Why is he worried? How the patient deals with anxiety provoking materials. OK. Are you with me? Yes, are you with yes. me? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Segment Freud, as we said, the father of psychology he is the one who discovered that we can analyze a dream in order to be aware of our unconscious mind, that what we see in our dreams is our unconscious talking. Our unconscious expresses itself while we sleep. Because we do not give un our unconscious uh, a space when we are awake. We do not understand it. We are not aware of it. We are not aware of our unconscious, so it comes when we sleep. It works. It starts working. The thoughts, the feelings, so you wake up in the morning and you find yourself with a, with a headache and your, your, your body is aching as if you have been running all your sleeping hours. Why? Your unconscious thoughts and feelings are fighting. To you do not express it. You do not, which you are not even aware of it only happens when you are asleep and it comes out in your dreams. So in a technique known as dream analysis, the psychoanalyst interprets the client's dream to find the unconscious thoughts and feelings. OK. So the free association again. The client is encouraged to express anything that comes in their minds. Why? When you express anything that comes to your mind, you start to be aware of your unconscious. Therapist is to identify thoughts extending back into the client's childhood. The client mustn't hold back. Holding back is resistance. Resistance, sometimes it happens unconsciously. Aim is to lower the ego defense mechanism to gain access to unconscious material. Ego defense mechanism, this is the ego defense mechanism here. The ego defense mechanism here. So here are the idea here of to fight with the idea creates an anxiety. You act with defense mechanism. When you analyze the dream, it uh, when you go to a psychoanalyst and you start free association sessions, you are start to be aware of your unconscious. So you stop the fight in your unconscious. You be more aware of it. You so you stop the ego defense mechanism. You understand, girls? Yes. You understand grade 12? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll stop here and we continue next time. Okay? Okay.
Okay. You took this part uh, the week before uh, with Miss Hadir, right? So it's like a repetition. See you guys. Bye.